Uh, Jeff and I are going to talk to you today about the ISPA Working Group, which is a working group within the Internet Source Commons devoted to creating shared resources for people working on Internet Source at a um, um, at a enterprise uh, level. Uh, ISPA is an acronym that stands for Internet Source Programs Office. Uh, we define um, the, um, that as a person or persons working on improving internal code collaboration experiences at the full organizational scale. Uh, it is uh, pretty uh, um, rare that there's a team called uh, um, called the uh, um, um, called the Programs office, though, often the people doing inner service related work in a company are in a team with a large scope of responsibilities, and inner source is just one aspect of that scope. Uh, there might be a team called the OSPO or the Open Source Programs Office, or part of a centralized engineering team, or a platforms team, or a developer experience team. They also could be in a uh, um, the head of engineering or is part of an engineering community practice. When we say ISPO, what we uh, really mean is anyone working on any of those teams concerned with internal code collaboration on a company scale. So if that sounds like you, then you're especially who we're trying to reach today with this presentation and this working group. The ISPO working group focuses on a subset of the larger inner source common scope. Uh, we focus on guidance for the teams that run and support um, inner source across the entire um, 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 enterprise rather than guidance uh, at, a, at a project level or at a, or at a, um, uh, or at a uh, individual level. For example, uh, in the inner source commons patterns, there's guidance on how to be a good inner source maintainer or guidance on how to set up your project for inner source success. These are important. Uh, Pornay areas, but they're outside of the scope of the working group. Instead, the working group focuses on elements specific to the centralized teams that run an inner source at the full company scale. Our goal for this talk is to help you learn about the ISPO working group and how it might benefit you. In addition to the content in this talk, you can check out similar information in the contributing to MD file of the ISPO working group repository. Um, we will put it um, in the meeting chat. Um, if you want to look at things during the talk, uh, that's a great place to start. We've structured the working group such that by participating in the working group, you can increase the speed and the impact of your own inner resource programs office. The model the working group follows uh, to do that is we create shared products, guidance docs, methodology descriptions uh, based on shared uh, challenges uh, that we have. Uh, these get peer reviewed from other uh, inner source experts that are part of the group. And then the final products get reused internally by uh, yeah, herself. Um, um, yourself and uh, to others. Uh, this improves the quality of the work and enables us to move faster than if we um, than if we um, 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 than if we each did the work um, individually by ourselves. Examples of challenges we are working on right now include inner source uh, metrics, SCM or source code uh, management configuration, uh, inner source project assessment, and hinting tools. These are all challenges where many people in the working group have tried different things, have different uh, lessons to share, and will want to learn from the experience of others who have tried. Um, uh, um, other approaches to the same challenge. 
One area I've contributed to is in defining guidance for source code management or SCM. SCM refers to how you set up or configure a version control platform like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, et cetera. There are lots of decisions you made in how these platforms are configured uh, and different needs have to be balanced. Shown on the slide is a screenshot of one part of our, of our currently in progress guidance documents. It discusses how to balance needs of security and uh, collabor collaboration. These needs can sometimes conflict, resulting in disagreements. And in a worst case scenario, a single security event can result in a sudden lockdown across that um, across the enterprise that kills off a lot of collaboration. By making uh, the guide from different perspectives and with different experiences, we're able to provide an improved framework for how to make good configuration choices in version control platforms that balance the various uh, needs, for example, security versus collaboration. The source code management challenge is one where I have personally participated in creating uh, ISPO working group content. There are several reasons why I took part in this challenge area. First, um, to get more value from hard won uh, lessons by sharing them with other people. Second, I want my perspective in, in external um, resources so I can later refer to those external uh, resources rather than just sh uh, sharing um, an email with my personal opinion. Sharing a, sharing a link to an inner source commons project uh, is much more um, persuasive than, 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 than just some sharing something that that is like uh, nothing more than Justin's thoughts. And third, I want to confirm my opinion is aligned with the experience of others who have struggled through this challenge um, at their company. And fourth, sharing grows my network and provides opportunities to sense check um, other ideas I might have um, to have in the future as well. And at um, this point, I'm going to uh, um, hand it over to, 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 to uh, Jeff, um, um, who's going to talk about um, metrics. Thank you, Justin. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jeff Bailey. I work within uh, InnoSource Community Practice. I'm leading uh, the effort to transform the company that I work at, uh, Nike. Um, as previously shared, we built an InnoSource metrics graph along with the SCM guidance and project assessment. I focus my attention on the InnoSource metrics graph. As this both leaders, we are asked to articulate the value of InnoSource. Using the InnoSource metrics graph, we can achieve this goal. For example, we may want to find valuable projects by identifying the number of contributors. The code contributors metric helps us with this goal and answers our question. By using the goals, questions, and metrics graph within our ISPOs, we can demonstrate the value of our InnoSource projects. Uh, like Justin, I also benefit from the ISPO working group. Through my involvement in the InnoSource Metrics Project, I didn't just scatter data, I connected with professionals who, like me, were navigating the world of InnoSource Metrics. As I contributed to this project, my professional network grew and I connected with like-minded professionals. Looking ahead, contributing to this project isn't a one-time benefit. As my company expands InnoSource project management, measurement will be ahead of the game, equipped with a diverse and vetted measurement approaches. Thank you, Justin. So how do we operate? Through discussions, ideation, and sharing our challenges, we work together to build peer-reviewed solutions. We value progress over perfection and encourage the sharing of challenges and solutions. Once we agree to meet a challenge, we check our progress and finally deliver solutions for the community. So when do we collaborate? We asynchronously collaborate on Slack and GitHub, and then synchronously through bi-weekly bi Monday meetings at 4 p.m. UTC and weekly mobbing sessions on Fridays. 
Excellent. Thank you. Uh, you can contribute by adding your challenges, reviewing solutions, and participating in meetings. Challenges within our group undergo a peer review as they progress through a Kanban board. We align our work with our organizational objectives while contributing to the Intersource Commons. We improve the managing Intersource projects, Gitbook, Intersource patterns, and other projects relevant to leaders of ISPOs, OSPOs, and the like. We invite all of you to align your organization's backlog with our working group. We produce content at a lower cost and improve it with feedback from deeply experienced people. If you're facing a challenge, it's likely that someone in our group is ready to collaborate on, on a solution. So how can you get involved? You can attend the ISPO working group meeting next Monday on November 20th at 4 p.m. UTC. But why should you participate? We already know the benefits of open source. Our working group provides the same benefits, collaboration opportunities, code reuse, knowledge through sharing in community and more. The InterSource Program Office Working Group is an opportunity for those involved in enterprise level software development. Whether you're a member of an ISPO, OSPO, platform engineering team or other centralized group, you'll benefit from our working group. Our group opens you up to a wealth of shared experience, enhancing your organization's InterSource capabilities. As we shift to questions, join us at the InterSource Program Office Working Group by navigating to the first link or scanning the QR code and then join the ISPO Working Group channel. Thank you for taking the time to learn about InterSource, the InterSource Program Office Working Group.